Okay, so I've done a ton of spider videos and a couple snake videos. The snake, some of the spider people didn't really like my snake vids and some of the snake people didn't really care for my spider videos. So tonight, I'm gonna do a snake with legs or centipede. This is a desert dwelling animal. The first one that I'm gonna show you is called the Scolopendra polymorpha, also known as the tiger centipede. And no, I don't normally keep it in a container this huge. Just using this container tonight to show you guys some of the different animals that we've got. So here he comes, popping out of the top here. And you can see why they're called the tiger centipede. Because of the black stripes down their backs. Um, I think this is a neat little centipede. And um, I like it. It's kind of a medium sized one. Uh, this one isn't full grown, but uh, still a cool looking animal. So uh, these are venomous and do have a pretty nasty bite. Now this is a different species and you can see them just that they tunnel and kind of burrow. So that's sort of cool. Looks kind of like a, the way ants do in an ant farm. Now this species is the Scolopendra heros castaniceps or the red-headed centipede. And you can see it's got a black body and a red head. A little cutie. These are uh, grow a little bit bigger. This is kind of a young one. Um, now I'm going to show you one that's a little bit older. So this is also the Harold's Castaniceps. And um, these will go after you, so I'm being very careful. But you can see it's quite a beautiful animal. And um, the word centipede actually means that it has a hundred legs or a hundred feet, I believe. But um, these actually only have 21 to 23 feet and it can vary from specimen to specimen. Okay, so this is the third specimen of red-headed centipede I'm going to show you. You can see it's got a nice girth to it. And um, so, I know that some people have trouble keeping these animals alive, but I'm going to share my secret with you. Number one. These are burrowing animals, so you need a container that's tall, not necessarily wide, and you need a deep substrate. Secondly, don't use potting soil. Mix sand and coconut bedding. So that's what we do, and our guys are fat and happy. So now, boys and girls, I'm going to do something that you should never, ever do. I'm going to play with it. So... These are venomous, as I said, and they are not uh, toxic enough to kill a person. But as I said, I have been bit by these guys before, and it stings like a mother. Another thing is, they've got these little barbs on the end of their legs, and they can kind of grab you with them. And I tell you, it does not feel good. So there is a possibility that I am going to be stung. Okay, so I finally got this guy out of his little home. As you can see, they like being buried down in that substrate. So um, their range is um, southwest U.S. to northern Mexico. And um, so anyway, these are a super neat bug. And the time that I got bit was by one out in my garden. And I pretty much disturbed its little home and it wrapped around my ankle and told me off a couple of times and it didn't feel good. But this little one I've made my friend and I just think they're super neat. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on the centipedes and I'll see you next time.